Hello everyone, it's Reverend Bryony here. Normally on a Tuesday evening we have a, a said Eucharist on Facebook, uh, but this week we have a PCC meeting at Clown. And I didn't want to cancel the service, so I decided that we might as well, because we've got the technology, we might as well do something a bit different. So uh, tonight it's, it's morning for me at the moment, uh, Monday morning I'm recording this. Uh, but for this evening, this Tuesday evening, we're going to have a service of evening prayer from the Iona community, uh, which is a community of Christians that live in Iona, obviously. <laughs> and they produce all sorts of really helpful liturgies for us to help us to pray. And I wanted to share some of that with you today. Now, um, this Monday um, is Holy Cross Day. It's a day where Christians around the world meditate on the gift of the cross of Jesus Christ. So we're going to be focusing on that a little bit in our prayer this evening. So as usual, if you'd like to join in with the words in yellow um, and you can pray with me tonight. And you can obviously watch this video back as many times as you like. That's the wonder of technology. Right, I'm just going to prepare my slides. So let us pray. In light and in darkness, in peace and confusion, Jesus Christ wants to make his home and meet his friends. He is the light of life. He is the hope for the world. In him there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither insider nor nor outsider. All are one in Jesus Christ. He is the light of life. He is the hope for the world. In him there is neither rich nor poor, neither black nor white. All are one in Jesus Christ. He is the light of life. He is the hope for the world. In him there is neither male nor female, neither master nor servant. All are one in Jesus Christ. He is the light of life. He is the hope for the world. So we come to pray. In the mystery of your presence, no words are needed. In the depth of your silence, no sound is necessary. In the face of your word, no voice need respond. Be still, you say. And know that I am God. So we will be still and listen. To the beating of our hearts. To the racing of our minds. to the pondering of our souls, knowing that your spirit, your Holy Spirit, is beating, moving, provoking within us and among us. And we will be still and listen for the cry of the voiceless, for the groaning of the weary, for the pain of the wounded, for the sigh of the victim, for the laughter 
of children. For the song of gladness. Knowing that your spirit, your Holy Spirit, enables crying, groaning, sighing, and also brings song and laughter. We will be still. And if we do not take off our shoes, we will yet remember that this is holy ground. Because you have promised to be where your people meet in Jesus' name. So we will wait. Patiently or impatiently. We will wait for Jesus. Amen. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for God and God bent down to hear me. God lifted me from a murky pit and set me firmly on a rock where I can stand confidently. God put a new song on my lips a song of praise to my maker. Many will look on in wonder and put their trust in God. Countless are your wonders, O God. In goodness you have no equal. We would proclaim all your works were they not too many, to number. Now a reading from John's Gospel. This is Jesus speaking. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. As I mentioned earlier, we're celebrating Holy Cross Day and I want to read to you from a very old English poem. It was written in Old English in about the 8th century and here is a translation from the Old English into Modern English. 
and it's called The Dream of the Rood. The word rood is an old Anglo-Saxon word for cross. And in it, the person imagines the cross itself, the tree on which Jesus was hung, speaking about being the cross. It's a rather imaginative and beautiful poem. So here is an extract from it. Many years ago, the memory abides. I was felled to the ground at the forest's edge, severed from my roots. Enemies seized me, made of me a mark of scorn for criminals to mount on. Shoulder high they carried me and set me on a hill. Many foes made me fast there. Far off, then I saw the king of all mankind coming in great haste, with courage, keen, eager to climb me. I did not dare against my lord's dictate to bow down or break, though I beheld tremble the earth's four corners. I could easily have felled his foes, yet fixed and firm I stood, then the young warrior, it was God Almighty, strong and steadfast, stripped himself for battle. He climbed up on the high, on the high gallows, constant in his purpose, mounted it in sight of many mankind to ransom. Horror seized me when the hero clasped me, but I dared not bow nor bend to earth, nor falter nor fall. Firm I needs must stand. I was raised up a rood, a royal king I bore, the high king of heaven, hold firm I must. They drove dark nails through me, the dire wounds still show, cruel gaping gashes, yet I dared not give as good. They taunted the two of us. I was wet with teeming blood, streaming from the warrior's side when he sent forth his spirit. High upon that hill, helpless I suffered, long hours of torment. I saw the Lord of hosts outstretched in agony, all embracing darkness covered with thick clouds, the corpse of the world's ruler. The bright day was darkened by a deep shadow, all its colours clouded. The whole creation wept, bewailing its king's fall. Christ was on the rood. And now I give you bidding, O man beloved, reveal this vision to the children of men and clearly tell of the tree of glory whereon God suffered for man's many sins and the evil that Adam once wrought of old. Let us now, in prayer, remember and call out to God for those whom the following words of Scripture bring to mind. Remember those who tonight will cry, I wish to God it were morning, and come morning will cry, I wish to God it were night. Remember those whose pillows are soaked with tears and whose eyes are tired and dim with weeping. Remember those who, for whatever reason, may want to say, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Remember those for whom the light that was in them has turned to darkness, and that darkness is doubly dark.
Remember those who, in looking to tomorrow, deeply hope that the sick will be healed, the stranger welcomed, the prisoner released, the poor hear good news. And let us, in confidence, share with God our own hopes and longings. Glory to God our Maker, to God's Son who is Christ our Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts both now and for ever. Amen. God of Abraham and Sarah, of Moses and Miriam, of Mary and Joseph, Stay with us now. God of Joshua and Rahab, of Rizpah and David, of Dorcas and Paul, stay with us now. God of Simeon and Anna, of Martha and Thomas, God of the eunuch at the pool and the woman at the well, Stay with us now. Stay with us and go with us, for we leave as we gathered. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer this week. Um, the materials that we used today were taken from this book, a We Worship book from the Iona community. So we thank them for the liturgy that we used this evening. Hopefully see you soon at one of our other services. <laughs>